Okay, I think that's yours. And that's mine. Welcome back to my channel to another video as you guys can tell by the title of today's video I am going to be doing a life update because I have not posted any videos in about a month So I decided to give you guys an update on What's going on why I haven't been posting and of course I had to bring My favorite person to spill all the tea to what your favorite? <laughs> If you guys are new here, my name is Samantha. If you guys like me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below that you're a new subscriber so I can comment back to you and say hi so we can become friends. Besties. Besties. And yeah, this is one of my best friends, Eric. Hello, YouTube. Introduce yourself. Tell them a little about yourself. You my know. name is, yeah, I got you. My name is Eric. Um, I'm 21 years old. We live in Cruces together. Mm -hmm. I met Sam freshman year of college. And well, she said she'd see me in orientation, but we I actually- I just seen him from a distance though. Yeah. I just like seen him and I was like, damn, that guy looks so rude. I really judged, I'm not gonna lie. No, honestly, like when I went to orientation though, I was like kind of putting on that face to look like a bad bitch because I didn't want like, I wanted to intimidate people. <laughs> but I'm actually <laughs> one of the, I'm probably one of the nicest people like You'll there ever is. meet, yeah. yeah like, but like that that day you just weren't fucking with it or what i don't know it was just hot <laughs> i was wearing a long sleeve shirt like it was black just not... curly hair oh yeah i had black curly hair at the time right she now she was a little little thick in the booty i was a little thick in the booty in the gut <laughs> no you were not okay gut. but yeah i met sam i didn't actually meet her until our freshman year of college yeah and we then... had a class together well we didn't actually have the class together We've already said this before in a video. I feel like we tell this story to so many fucking people. I feel like we didn't say this. I feel like we said this in the last video. No, we did. We said it in Alicia's um, birthday video. Birthday video. But for the new people watching, True. we met in an English class that Sam was not supposed to be in at all. And she said she was a cheerleader. And I was like, ooh, oh, I'm yeah, a cheerleader. Oh, yeah, because they had us, like, introduce ourselves. The teacher did. The break and, the like, ice. And, like, talk about something we did. In high school. Yeah, in high school. And so I was a cheerleader. I mean, I played sports and cheered, but I said cheerleading and Eric was a cheerleader. And then this bitch I said... Cheer wasn't a sport. I said, I really don't know if cheerleading is a sport, if I would consider it that. Because, I mean, it is a sport. I'm not saying it now. But like that day I said that because at that time in my life, I just didn't really think it was because I had played sports and I had cheered. So I was like, they're a little different. And not only like that, but like not high school cheer isn't really a sport until like it's like competitive. competitive. Yeah, I think competitive cheering is a sport, but if you're kind of like standing on the sidelines and just, you know, yeah, no. hitting the crowd is not really. And like, everybody thinks that's all it is when it's. Yeah, but it's not. I do competitive cheer. Eric does competitive cheer now. All star. Also, you need to tell about your YouTube channel. Eric has a YouTube channel, guys. So if you like me and you like Eric. You can go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, she'll link it in the bottom. Yeah. But I haven't uploaded in, on my YouTube channel in a while. Since, Neither like, one of us have. No. We've been slacking. She, so that's why we're here. So I got my chicken nuggets, my fries. I'm a fat ass, so I got a large. I'm just kidding, I haven't eaten today, so. My Chick-fil-A sauce that I did not take off the wrapper right. I got Chick-fil-A and ranch. And also Polynesian is good, but it's yeah. only good like, with one nugget. One nugget. Yeah, girl, you gotta. No, I, I like it. With I dip, I mix them. I mix the Polynesian sauce and the Chick-fil-A sauce. Tell me, like, tell me why she's all. Uh, oh, would you like two sauces? Where I told her your sauces, and I all got a large, and she gave me. She's out two each, and then she they only gave me one each. I was like, okay. And then to drink, I got me a sweet tea with lemon. What'd you get? Water. Water. I was gonna get Dr Pepper because that's like my weakness, mm -hmm. but. These past couple days, I haven't been drinking a lot of water just because I've been like moving and like oh, yeah, cheering sure. and just been busy. Yeah, and Sam literally asked me today, "Why haven't you came over?" <laughs> I'm like, "Bitch, I've been moving. Like, I've been unpacking and doing shit." Yeah, I've just been busy, and like today was my first day. I got to sleep in, and it felt amazing. Like, so I started eating while I'm over. No, you're okay. So, so home. What'd you do today? Or what did you do last night and yesterday? How was that day? Because I know you were busy those days. So last night, me and Tom were actually supposed to go out and go drink. 
but I went to El Paso. I went to go look for a new car and we went through everything. I test drove it. I loved it, but honestly, it wasn't like what I was dreaming for. And then they tried telling me like I was gonna pay $500. So I was like, yeah, no, like I'm not gonna pay $500 a month for a car payment. Especially if it wasn't even that bougie, it was a Jeep Renegade. So then- oh, yeah, it was expensive. Yeah, I was like, hell no. So then we went um, the core shopping at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. We got like these two plants and then we also got, what was it? We got like this head, we got a sign. I got two laundry bins for my laundry because I have one and I always like wait to do my laundry so it like overflows. But so I mean, now you just gave yourself a fucking reason to have more laundry? No, I gave myself a reason to set my separate my whites for my colors. I have three laundry baskets and they're all full right now. <laughs> See, I don't like doing like little loads of laundry. I like making big loads and just doing big loads. Like, my dryer doesn't dry big loads. You have to do them very small. It's pretty whack if you ask me. No, yeah. And we have to get new dryers because... So, he keeps saying that he's moving or he moved or whatever. He just recently moved into a four bedroom house. He was living in a two bedroom apartment. Moved in with all new roommates. Mm-hmm. Um, Loving the vibe. Has a the beautiful energy. house. It's beautiful. It's like a townhouse. It is, yeah. And I love it. I went and seen it the other day and I literally fell in love. I helped you pick your room. I um I was, I was like debating between a room upstairs and downstairs. I was like, uh uh. Downstairs. So I get in the downstairs we have a garage too, so I got the downstairs bedroom, I have my own bathroom. I have You're right like, next to the kitchen. Uh-huh. I'm right next to the kitchen so nobody can see my fat ass going to get some food. Mm -hmm. And then also I have like this extra closet because I have so many coats and like hoodies and jackets. So like I have that closet for like all my coats. And then they gave me the garage too. So that's a plus. But um I don't know. I was waiting to like paint my room because it's brown and I don't do brown. You're still gonna paint it? No, I'm not going to because I called the landlord yesterday. And they didn't let you? Yeah. Jack, I, I, I told Jack. I wasn't gonna let you. I told him, I was like, you are not gonna be able to paint that bedroom. We're actually waiting because, update. Put that up there. Um, we're moving too. Me and Britt are moving and we are actually getting a five bedroom house and we're gaining three roommates. So. We set our, we did our security deposit yesterday and we just like went and seen the house and stuff. And I asked them too, because you know that bedroom that's blue, the mm -hmm. little bedroom. I was like, can we paint this room? And I'm waiting for them to call me back to tell me if we can. But the guy was like, more than likely, yes, they're gonna let you. Yeah. Cause like there's just one, room. one, every single room is like a neutral color, like tan or like the walls are light, like in here. And there's just one bedroom that's blue. Like that blue, blue or like Like blue. blue. Like, it's not even blue that I could, like, decorate with. I was even hoping it would be, like, a navy blue. Mm -hmm. But, no. It's, like, a boy, like, blue blue. Like, it's just not cute. Mm. So. Yeah, I was I was just waiting to paint my room. So then I finally called her. Jackie's all, just tell her, like, there's scratch marks or, like, paint on the wall. And I can paint over it. And, and the final. landlord said no. All my stuff was inside of the garage. And I was just, the garage was a mess because all my decorations and stuff were in there. So then last night, I stayed up until 4 a.m. decorating my room. So I'm probably gonna upload a video on my YouTube channel, like going over my- Room tour. Room tour, yeah. I Yay! wanted, yeah. I wanted to like do a video of me decorating my room, but like I was playing music and- Yeah. But yeah, I stayed up till 4 a.m., slept in until like 12 today. And then Sam called me, she goes, bitch, you're supposed to be here at 11.30. And I was like, I'm it's so It's okay, sorry. I wasn't like, even ready either. I know, you called me, I said, bitch, you're not even ready. Like, mm -hmm. So then, I hurry up, got ready, got here at like three, and got your clay. Mm -hmm. And now we're here. And now I have work at four today. 4.30 or four? 4.30, well, four, but. You're gonna go in at 4.30? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's what happens when you're the manager's favorite. Also guys, the last time I posted, I posted a video in May. And as you guys know, my sister was due to have her baby. So, Soraya ended up having her baby, obviously. <laughs> and um, Akira was born on May 16th. Um, she was four pounds, 14 ounces. She was 18 inches long. Healthy baby, she was very, very tiny though. She I actually filmed like a, like I filmed parts of this. Like I filmed whenever 
we dropped Soraya off at the hospital at four in the morning because she ended up having to get induced. She actually went two days after her due date. We went and dropped her off at the hospital. I literally went home, went back to bed, and I woke up like at nine, and by that time she was already dilated to an eight. So she had Akira, I don't know the exact time. I think it was like 11-ish, it was around that time. Um, that she gave birth to her and oh my gosh guys like she's literally the most beautiful baby I have ever laid my eyes on like I don't know I know I'm like she's my niece so I know I'm like uh, what's the word favoriting no um it's with a p fuck I don't know what it's called but I know I like favor her more we'll use that word for now I know I obviously favor her more because, like, she's my niece, you know? So, of course, I'm going to think she's beautiful. But she is beautiful. And um, she's done so good. She's gained so much weight. She had her one-month appointment on the 16th of last month. And um, she was already about to hit seven pounds. She was, like, literally, like, an ounce away from seven pounds. She's already hit seven pounds. Like, she's just so chunky and full. And her and my sister are just doing so good. My sister, like, literally snapped back. Like, a week after she had her baby, that bitch had a flat stomach. I'm not kidding. So I'm praying. I'm praying that I have that look. But I probably won't. I was going to be like, yeet. <laughs> yeet. <laughs> you <gonna be> that <laughs> still. <laughs> but. but. Hmm? Akira looks just like Serenity. Like, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, guys. And I really went back and forth with uploading my sister's pregnancy or my sister's birth delivery video. I went back and forth a lot. But it was just so hard because like due to like COVID and stuff, like we were not allowed in the hospital. When after Soraya had her baby, she had a window like right outside, sorry. <laughs> she had a window right outside her room and we like had to go like look through the window for like the first couple of days. And then finally we got to see her when she got home, but it was just a lot, you know? So. This is slapping right now. It's so good, huh? Mm-hmm. You got Chick-fil-A, I said, mm. And then you're like, mm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's me, but Chick-fil-A upsets my stomach, like, afterwards. Mm-hmm. It does with me, too. We've talked about this before. Maybe it's just, like, a carb overload, and you're just like, ah. Mm-hmm. I feel like you have to eat it slow. Because if you eat it fast, I know, and are both almost done. <laughs> but if you eat it fast, it's like, Egh. Yeah, you just like, mm. Mm-hmm. What are we doing for 4th of July? Um, I think we're just gonna cook food here at the house for the 4th of July. Go at the apartment. Yeah. And then just pop fireworks outside and watch the firework display. And drink. Does that mean I shouldn't go out? So we actually had already like filmed this video last week. I don't know what my dumb ass did, <laughs> but it literally like, I go to sit down to edit it. And like, I've already had like so much anxiety about YouTube because like I haven't posted in so long and it bothers me whenever I don't post. Like I feel like it's like a missing homework assignment. Like I'm supposed to be doing something and like I don't do it and it's just like I feel guilty, you know? And it's like literally like the middle of the video. And I'm like, what the fuck, we're still beginning. And it wasn't there. I don't know what I did. I don't know if I deleted it. I don't know what I could have possibly done. Like I don't know. And it wasn't there and I literally just started crying. Like I was just like, oh, like I was so mad. I was, it was like so annoying. But Eric, I went and told Eric cause I had to go to his work and I was like. She's like, you're gonna hate me. I said, what? And then she saw the first half of the video was on my SIM card. And I was like, okay. It's okay. Yeah, I like, it's okay. <laughs> I said, honestly, I didn't feel I didn't feel like I looked my best anyway, so. Yeah, so he was like, it's okay, it's fine, we'll just redo it. And I was like, okay. So, I mean, you made me feel a lot better because I was so upset. And honestly, wait, what were we eating? Canes. Canes. This is why we don't lose weight. <laughs> I woke up on skinny today, and I was surprised because I had like six cookies yesterday. Six? <laughs> well, they were little. Mm. They're like mini cookies. Makes sense, makes sense. But we had dinner and then I got high and mm -hmm. made cookies. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I was telling like my mom the other day 
honestly guys like at the end of the day like i know i chose to i choose to do youtube like i love doing youtube i love making videos like i think it's just so much fun it's so much fun and i encourage everybody to try to do it but well bitch it almost fell on my hand so i had to like hurry up and put it in my mouth <laughs> but um like the thing about it is like it's so hard to balance like life in YouTube now I'm trying to like figure out how to balance that and like balancing that is a very very hard thing to do like all of like these big youtubers that do like vlog every day everything like I really give these people props because it is like so hard like and I kind of like also feel bad sometimes like when I'm doing it because I'm like recording people and like not everybody wants to be in your video and like I get that and like people will, if my friends don't feel like being in my video at that moment they know that they can just be like Sam like I don't feel like being in it and I just like okay I won't record you or if I do get you on camera I'll cut you out when I'm editing but finding that balance between like YouTube and life and like being in the moment yeah. and having to do things in the moment is something is that's very hard that I struggle with like balancing out and I know like I'm not out here like making money off my video so I don't have like so much pressure but like at the same time I want to give good content like I don't want to be giving like random ass clips you know what I mean like I want it to be consistent I want it to make sense like I want it to just flow and so personally I like struggle with just finding that balance and I think that's like been my problem lately is like i just haven't really put in any effort into finding that balance but if i want something to like proceed with this and if i ever wanted to make this a career like obviously that's like not gonna work for me you know but like as of right now my youtube channel is like literally just for fun like i'm not trying to be an influencer i'm not trying to do this like you know like your youtube channel like we literally have our youtube channels because like we do fun shit in our lives so like why not share that you know and look back on it like, and like yeah i love my videos because like even now even though they've only been made like nine months ago eight months ago like you know what i mean i look back at them and i'm like whoa like i was in a completely different place than like i am now or like when i get older i can be like look show my kids and be like look like look at mommy and her friends and when she was in college you know like I want to be able to like that's kind of like why the way I see it and if it does happen like that would be so awesome but obviously I'm just gonna like leave that in God's hands if that happens that's in God's hands that's what's meant to happen but for right now it's just kind of like it's a fun thing it's a hobby it's a hobby that I have and a hobby that I can't consistently do all the time just because of the point that I'm at in my life you're so, just so busy all the time but at the same time i feel like definitely like the youtubers that have it like have that title as like a youtuber like oh they're, they're getting paid to do youtube mm -hmm. they're surrounded by other youtubers mm -hmm. so they all get the flow they all like they all are, are like there are yeah it's like it's a part of their lifestyle you watch other youtubers vlogs and like a group of influencers will get together and they'll go and they'll hang out right you watch it and like in the background they're like filming things and they kind of like happen to get somebody else like in the background like another youtuber and every single person has like their camera in their hand and like they're just like recording they're surrounded by people that like constantly do that so it's like it's normal mm -hmm. it's so normal and like here in new mexico filming vlogging doing what we gotta fucking do for our youtube channels that shit's not normal here mm -mm. you pull out a camera and people are like why the hell are you taking pictures y'all know like if y'all live in new mexico like i just need to get more comfortable with the camera i need to be able to like i don't know just get more comfortable yeah. that's really like all it is you know i feel like i'm definitely more comfortable with the camera now than i was just because like when i first started my youtube channel the other night bro the other night we watched my first youtube video oh how was that i'm just so cringe like ooh. that's what i was thinking like, I, mean, I know it's only been like one. a year ago but like i'm just like ugh. and then i like didn't make sense half the time when i talk i'm like do i really sound like that all the time like i don't make sense like some of the words i was saying i was like bro she's like what's a silicone be? <laughs> just kidding what is that you've never watched <gasps> house bunny I've done that twice now. I don't think your lid's on, right? Oh yeah, no, it's not. Thanks, Chick Fil A. Actually, I'm the one who did that. I don't know. But I don't know. I'm ready to like sit down, start filming, because I really enjoy editing. Like I don't know. <clears throat> I was living with people that 
I don't know, just bugged. <laughs> Nothing against them, but. It's definitely like the people you surround yourself with in like this whole game that we're playing, you know? Like you have to be able to feel comfortable. You can't be like, eh. like, you know, it has to. <sighs> I feel like my ears are getting bigger by the day. I do. Your ears keep growing, huh? No. They don't ever stop growing. Is that true? Yeah. Why do you think like old people they have like big ass ears and noses? I'm gonna have a big nose. Your nose is gonna keep growing. My nose is already big enough. I wonder if it stops growing when you're dead. No, Sam. Your body keeps growing or what? No, your body disintegrates on the ground. <laughs> it decomposes. <laughs> That was a really dumb question. I forgot about that. I forgot that happens to our bodies. Oh, I don't want to be buried. I might get cremated. I, I don't, wanna be, I don't like maggots. I want to be in the ocean. No, Eric, your soul doesn't rest when it's not fully, like your whole ashes aren't fully together. Really? Mm. I feel like my soul's in my mind. No, you shouldn't do that. It's not good to do that. I just want to become a butterfly after I die. Cause who kills butterflies? Nobody. Cars, bro. Ooh, the other day I was like, oh, <laughs> cars, bro. No, <laughs> butterflies are in the freaking flowers. No, I killed a butterfly. It's probably moth. Mm -hmm. All what right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video. We really don't have anything else other to talk about. Do you have other things you want to talk about, Mr. Eric? Um. No. Did y'all know Eric's never been in love? Period. You guys are gay on here and you're hot. Hit up my boy. If you're in the Las Cruces area. You don't have to be hot. If you have a good heart. Honestly, I get it. You're, 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 hey, you have a. I have a lock. <gasps> Do you both have locks? Yes. Oh my gosh. Dude, who has your key? I just have like a little dot. Who has your key to your lock? You. Yeah. We'll send it. Imagine. So now that you guys have gotten to the end of this video, I am going to be doing a giveaway in this video. My first giveaway ever. Okay, so let me go grab what I'm gonna be doing actually. Oh. All right guys, so pull it up closer. This is a customizable necklace that one of my friends, she recently started um, a customized jewelry business and this is what her necklaces look like. This says Lachey, as you guys can tell, my middle name. So I bought one from her, absolutely fell in love. Watch, I'll put it on Eric so you guys can see the way it looks when you have it on. I feel like a bad bitch now. I'm gonna be giving away one of these necklaces. You can, If you want one and you don't win the giveaway, you can. Um, I'll link her social media down below. So that way you guys can go put in some orders. She does like school names, regular names. I can't get this because my nails. I will DM you, ask you what you want. Amen? Is it falling off? No. Don't mind my chest hair. So this is what it looks like, like on the neck. You can go shave your back now. So that it's really cute. And it doesn't like flip, like you could like move around and stuff and it's gonna just lay right on your chest so pretty. And that's what I really like about it because it doesn't like mess up or anything. You can get your name, your boyfriend's name, your initials, your school's name, whatever you want. And I'm also gonna do a gift card. I haven't decided if I wanted to do like a coffee gift card or where I'm gonna do a gift card. I was thinking about asking my prize winner like, hey, like do you have like Dunkin' in your area? If they're like not from here, if you have like Starbucks in your area, because if they don't, then like that's kind of pointless to give somebody a gift card to somewhere like that they're not around, you know? Yeah. I'd rather give them a gift card that's somewhere that's close. The reason why I'm even doing a giveaway, um, I told you guys in my last video, I think it was, that I wanted to do a giveaway whenever I hit 500 subscribers and we hit that. Yay. I'm really excited about that. So I decided to do a just simple giveaway, you know. I love jewelry, you guys know that. So I thought this would be something cute. And then I love coffee and I love other places. I love to eat. So I haven't really decided where the gift card's coming from. I Like I said, I'm gonna DM the winner, see what they want. Then I'll give you a gift card. So the way you're gonna enter this giveaway is I need you to go follow my Instagram, one. 
And then once you do that, leave a comment down below of the, what emoji? We can do the ring emoji. Yeah, we'll do that. For then put a comment down below and put the ring emoji and then say done. So that way I know you guys entered the giveaway and then I will be announcing the winner on my Instagram story. That's the whole, okay. That's the whole point of following my Instagram. So make sure you do that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me and Eric, like I said, giving our excuses why we haven't been uploading. Yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys all so much. Don't forget to go subscribe to Eric's channel as well and leave a comment and tell them that, you know, I sent you there. But yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you for coming. I enjoyed having you as my special guest. Thank you for having me and thank you for telling me about your play. Mm -hmm. That was the bomb. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Do it right now. Go do it. <laughs> and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs>